I am Radha Krishna, mathematics teacher. We are going to continue our quadratic e equations and expressions and uh, the, today's subtopic is location of roots. What is location of roots? If you take a quadratic equation y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Uh, let us take y is equal to let us denote the expression by f of x. If the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 <coughs> has two real roots alpha and beta such that both the roots are greater than k, then what are the conditions? If both the roots of this quadratic equation are greater than k, then the graph should be like this if a is positive. This is origin, this is x axis, this is y axis. k is here. If both the roots are greater than k, then the graph should be either like this or like this. This is when a is less than 0, concavity is downwards. Now, the first condition is the equation should have real roots. So, what is the condition? Discriminant is greater than or equal to 0, that is the first condition. Next is this vertex has coordinates minus b by 2a comma 4ac minus b square by 4a x coordinate of this vertex is minus b by 2a and here also this x coordinate is minus b by 2a. Now, the vertex should be on the right side of k. So, minus b by 2a should be greater than k in both the cases. The next condition is if a is positive, this is f of a. Uh, sorry, if k if a is positive, f of k should be positive. If a is negative, then the value of the function at x is equal to k should be negative. If these three conditions are satisfied, then both the roots will be greater than k. At x is equal to k, the point should be above the x axis. Here at x is equal to k, point should be below the x axis. Therefore, here when a is positive, f of k is positive. So, a into f of k is positive. When a is negative, f of k is negative. Then a into f of k is again positive. So, combining these two cases, we can write the third condition as a into f of k is greater than 0. Okay. This is one case when both the roots are greater than k. Next is if both the roots are less than k, you can easily write the conditions. First, this vertex is x is equal to minus b by 2a f of x is a x square plus b x plus c denoted by y. The graph of y is equal to f of x will be like this if a is positive and it will be downward parabola when a is negative. So, first of all the root should be real. So, condition is discriminant greater than or equal to 0 and the vertex should be on the left side of k in both the cases. Therefore, minus b by 2a this must be less than k. Next is if you observe the value of f of x at x is equal to k, when a is positive f of k is positive, when a is negative f of k is negative. So, again a into f of k is positive combining the two cases. So, the only change is this second condition. 
when both the roots are greater than k minus b by 2a is greater than k when both the roots are less than k minus b by 2a is less than k. Next, suppose one root is less than k, another root is greater than k. That means, suppose roots are alpha and beta, alpha is the smaller root, beta is the larger root, then alpha is less than k, beta is greater than k. Then, if you take y is equal to f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c, then the if a is positive the graph should be like this, k should be between these two, this is alpha, this is beta. If a is positive the graph will be like this, k should be between the roots alpha and beta. And here also if a is negative, this is alpha, this is beta, then the condition is a into f of k is less than 0, only one condition. In the earlier two situations, we got three conditions, but in this case only one condition is enough. If a is positive, f of k is negative, if a is negative, f of k is positive. Therefore, a into f of k is negative. Then what about the first two conditions? Roots must be real now. If this condition is satisfied, automatically roots will be real. Because if you take a positive, then f of k is negative. That means, at k point is below the x axis. When it is upward parabola when there is a point below the x axis automatically graph has to intersect the x axis. So, automatically roots are real discriminant greater than or equal to 0 condition is satisfied no need to check separately. Similarly, in this case also when a is negative graph will be downward parabola, but at x is equal to k f of k is positive means point is above the x axis. Then the roots will be definitely real, no need to check the condition delta greater than or equal to 0. If this condition is satisfied, then you, even if you check the discriminant, it will be greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Next, about uh, the other condition, minus b by 2a. Here, in this case, vertex can be on the right side of k or left side of k because here in this diagram uh, vertex is on right side of k, but the parabola may be like this. In this case vertex is on left side of k. So, that second condition minus b by 2 a less than k or greater than k is not required here. Only one condition a into f of k less than 0. Next, fourth Suppose k1 and k2 are two fixed numbers and both the roots alpha and beta lie between k1 and k2, both the roots. Then if a is positive, the graph should be like this. If a is negative, graph should be like this. Then what are the conditions? First condition delta should be greater than or equal to 0, roots must be real, they can be equal also. So, first condition delta greater than or equal to 0. Second condition the vertex should lie between my k1 and k2 minus what is the x coordinate of the vertex minus b by 2a, it should lie between k1 and k2 in this case also x coordinate of this vertex is minus b by 2a it should lie between k1 and k2 this is the second condition. Third condition in first case when a is positive f of k1 and f of k2 both must be positive when a is positive f of k1 and f of k2 both must be positive when a is negative f of k1 and f of k2 both should be negative. 
then here in the first case if a is positive f of k 1 and f of k 2 are positive. So, a into f of k 1 into f of k 2 is positive. No, one minute here we have to write separately. I will change the third condition. Third condition is if A is positive f of k 1 and f of k 2 should be greater than 0. If k A is negative f of k 1 should be negative and f of k 2 should be negative, f of k 1 should be less than 0, f of k 2 is less than 0. Okay. If you take a into f of k 1 into f of k 2, in the first case it is positive and in the second case, second case it is coming negative. Okay. So, we have to check separately. Next. In this case, one root is less than k1, another root is greater than k2. k1 and k2 are two fixed numbers and k1 is smaller than k2. Then, if a is positive, the graph of f of x should be like this. One root should be less than k1, the other root should be greater than k2. Next if a is negative graph is downward parabola then the graph should be like this now what are the conditions if a is positive f of k1 is negative f of k2 is negative so a into f of k1 is less than 0 and a into f of k2 is less than 0 in the first case in the second case when a is negative f of k1 is positive when a is negative f of k is k2 is also positive therefore both the conditions are same in both the cases so only these two conditions are enough what about delta delta greater than 0 will be automatically satisfied because when a is positive f of k k1 should be negative now that means point is below the x axis so automatically graph should intersect the x axis so automatically delta condition is satisfied delta greater than or equal to 0 condition will be satisfied so only two conditions are there next if exactly one root of but one root of the quadratic equation lies between alpha and beta uh, sorry exactly one root lies between k1 and k2 k1 and k2 are two fixed numbers then exactly one root should lie between k1 and k2. In the previous cases, we have discussed the case where both the roots are between k1 and k2 and one root is less than k1, another root is greater than k2. Now, if there is exactly one root between k1 and k2, then when a is positive, graph should be like this. When a is negative, graph should be like this. So, what are the conditions? it will be sufficient if f of k1 and f of k2 have opposite signs if f of k1 is negative f of k2 is positive if f of k1 is negative uh, here also f of k1 is negative f of k2 is positive so f of k1 into f of k2 less than 0 that condition will be enough suppose the graph is like this then then also exactly one root will lies between k1 and k2 here f of k1 is positive f of k2 is negative but the product is negative in this case also graph can be like this then also same condition you will get 
so this is the condition if the root one root lies exactly one root lies between k1 and k2 now let us solve problems first question if both the roots of the equation ax square plus ax plus 1 is equal to 0 are less than 1 find the values of a if both the roots are less than 1 what are the conditions if a is positive uh, suppose 1 is here if a is positive graph should be like this if a is negative graph should be like this then what are the conditions if, if suppose you cannot uh, remember all the conditions then wherever it is necessary draw the graph and get the conditions here a is positive here a is negative now first of all discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0 delta greater than or equal to 0 first condition then what you will get b square minus 4ac a square minus 4a is greater than or equal to 0 taking a common a into a minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 then what is the interval of a a is less than or equal to uh, smaller root or greater than or equal to the larger root a is less than or equal to what is the smaller root 0 or a is greater than or equal to 4 this is first condition second what is the second condition vertex should be on the left side of 1 in both the cases what is the vertex x coordinate of the vertex is minus b by 2a it should be less than 1 minus b by 2a less than 1 what is minus b by 2a quadratic equation is a square plus a plus 1 is equal to 0 f of x is equal to a x square plus a x plus 1 is equal to 0 then what is minus b by 2 a minus a by 2 a minus a by 2 a should be less than 1 cancelling a minus 1 by 2 less than 1 it is true this is always true ok now third condition if a is positive f of 1 should be positive if a is negative f of 1 at x is equal to 1 point should be below the x axis is if a is negative f of 1 is negative if a is positive f of 1 is positive that means a into f of 1 is positive third condition a into f of 1 is greater than 0 a means it is a only what is f of 1 put x is equal to 1 a plus a plus 1 means 2a plus 1 should be greater than 0 then what is the interval of a when quadra, uh, x minus alpha into x minus beta greater than 0 x does not lie between alpha and beta x is less than alpha or greater than beta here alpha is the smaller root which is the smaller root one root is 0 another root is minus 1 by 2 so alpha is minus 1 by 2 so a is less than minus 1 by 2 or 
a is greater than 0, this is the third condition. Now, what will be the answer? All three conditions must be satisfied. So, we have to take the intersection. Second is always true, so no need to consider it. So, how to get the intersection? Draw a real number line. This is minus infinity, this is plus infinity. Then locate all these numbers. First, smallest is minus 1 by 2. Next is 0. Next is 4. First interval is less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 4. Last value is included, 0 is included or greater than or equal to 4, 4 is included. This is the first interval. Second interval, a is less than minus 1 by 2 means this or a is greater than 0. Now, observe the intersection, common interval. Common interval is wherever they are matching, it is called common interval minus infinity to minus 1 by 2. At minus infinity, we write open bracket, at minus 1 by 2, open bracket because minus 1 by 2 is included here, but not included here. Union, here where are the matching? 0, 0 is not included in the second interval. So, 0 to 4 not matching, 4 to infinity, all are matching, 4 is also included. Therefore, union. 4 to infinity. This must be the interval of A. So, this is the answer for the interval of A. Let us proceed to next question. If both the roots of the equation x square minus a x plus a is equal to 0 are greater than 2, find the values of A. Let us take f of x is equal to x square minus a x plus a. Here x square coefficient is positive. So, the graph must be upward parabola only. Both the roots must be greater than 2. Let us take 2 here. If both the roots are greater than 2, the graph must be like this. So, what are the conditions? First condition, delta should be greater than or equal to 0. Roots can be equal also, but both the roots must be greater than 2. So, delta is greater than or equal to 0. What is delta? b square minus 4ac is a square minus 4a greater than or equal to 0. Taking a common, a into a minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. Then, a is less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 4. This is the condition in the <coughs> first. Now, the second What is the second? The vertex should be on the right side of 2. Okay. What is the vertex? Minus b by 2a should be greater than 2. What is minus b by 2 here? Minus, uh, b is a. So, minus b, b is minus a. So, minus b is a. This is condition 
for a x square plus b x plus c. So, you have to understand this a is different, this a is different. Minus b is a by 2 a means 2 should be greater than 2. Then cross multiplying by 2 we get a is greater than 4, this is condition 2. Now, condition 3 f of 2 should be positive, condition 3. f of 2 should be greater than 0. What is f of 2? 2 square 4 minus 2a plus a should be greater than 0. So, we will get 4 is greater than a or a is less than 4. a is less than 4, this is the third condition. Now, we have to take intersection of all the conditions, take a real number line that is infinity, this is minus infinity. Look at the numbers first 4, I am taking 4 here, next 0, take 0 here. What is the first interval? Less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 4? Less than or equal to 0 means this one 0 is included or greater than or equal to 4 means 4 to infinity, 4 is included. Next second condition, a is greater than 4. third condition is a is less than 4. What are the common values for all the three conditions? All three must be satisfied. There is no common value, is it not? Here these two are matching, third condition is not matching, third interval is not matching. So, all three are not matching even at one value of a. So, there is no value of a. answer is no value of a. Okay. Next question, if 1 root of x square minus of k plus 1 into x plus k square plus k minus 8 is equal to 0 is less than 2, the other root is greater than 2. Take uh, the function as f of x, take this expression as f of x, x square coefficient is positive, so the graph is upward parabola. Let this be 2. one root should be less than 2, the other should the other root should be greater than 2. So, the graph should be like this. What are the conditions? If a, a is already positive, if f of k is negative automatically at 2 point is below the x axis. So, one root will be greater than 2, other root will be less than 2. Even discriminant is not required because when the graph is upward parabola and uh, at x is equal to 2, if it is becoming negative, the graph will intersect the x axis at two distinct points. <coughs> so, delta condition is not required. And what is the condition about vertex? Vertex can be on the right side of 2 or left side of 2. So, no condition on the vertex. Only one condition that is f of 2 should be less than 0. What is f of 2? 4. 2 square 4 plus k minus k plus 1 into 2 plus k square plus k 
minus 8 should be less than 0. Then first to take k square, next uh, minus k and plus k will cancel and constant and 4 minus 4 minus 2, 2, 2 minus 8 minus 6 less than 0, is it not? 4, oh here 2k is there, 1 minute. First k square minus 2k here, minus 2k and plus k. So, you will get minus k, k's are not cancelled. minus k. Next constant is 4 minus 2, uh, 2, 2 minus 8 minus 6 less than 0. Then factorize it, you will get k plus k minus 2 into k plus 3 I think should be less than 0. Check k is equal to 2, oh, k is equal to 1 minute, minus 3, okay. k plus 2 into k plus 2 into k minus 3. Okay. Now, what is the interval of k? k should be, it is le less than 0 no then k should lie between minus 2 and 3 so the interval of k is k belongs to open interval minus 2 to 3 next question if at least one root of x square minus of a minus 3 into x plus a is equal to 0 is greater than 2, find the values of a. If at least one root is greater than 2, means either exactly one root or both the roots. Here also x square coefficient is positive. Take this expression as f of x. Then since x square coefficient is positive, the graph is upward parabola. Let us take 2 here, One at least 1 root is greater than 2. So, let us take 2 cases, exactly 1 root is greater than 2, means other root is less than 2, graph must be like this. In the second situation, both the roots are greater than 2, then the graph must be like this. <coughs> we have to find the conditions for both the cases and we have to take union because this or that first <coughs> for this case 1. This is case 2. case 1, what is the first condition? If f of k not only first, not first condition, the only one condition will be enough. If f of 2 is negative, that will be enough. f of 2 is negative means automatically roots will be real and distinct because at graph is upward parabola if f of 2 is negative graph graph cuts the x axis before 2 once and after 2 once and vertex can be on the right side of 2 or less the let us say left side of 2 so no condition on the vertex 
only one condition what is f of 2 2 square 4 minus of a minus 3 into 2 plus a should be less than 0 then what happens 4 minus 2a plus 6 plus a should be less than 0 then 10 minus a less than 0 so a is greater than 10 ok this is the well, uh, set of values of a for the first case first case now case 2 what is case 2 if both the roots are greater than 2 then discriminant must be greater than or equal to 0 roots may be equal also so first condition delta greater than or equal to 0 what is delta Min, uh, a minus 3 whole square minus 4a a minus 3 whole square minus 4a should be greater than or equal to 0 expanding the square a square minus 6a minus 4a minus 10a plus 9 greater than or equal to 0 then we can factorize it as a minus 1 into a minus 9 greater than or equal to 0 then what is the interval of a a will be less than or equal to smaller root or greater than or equal to larger root next what is the other condition vertex should be on the right of 2 on the right side of 2 so minus b by 2 a must be greater than 2 what is minus b by 2 a a minus 3 by 2 should be greater than 2 a minus 3 by 2 greater than 2 cross multiplying by 2 you will get a is greater than 7 this is second condition what is the third condition f of 2 must be greater than 0 f of 2 must be greater than 0 what is f of 2 2 square 4 minus of a minus 3 into 2 plus a should be greater than 0 then simplifying it you will get 10 minus a greater than 0 so a must be less than 10 ok then what is the intersection of all these three if you take real number line uh, first is 1 9 7 10 the numbers present in the intervals first interval is less than or equal to 1 greater than or equal to 9 1 is included 9 to infinity 9 is included what is the second interval second interval is greater than 7 7 to infinity third interval is less than 10 minus infinity to 10 so what is the common interval for all these three conditions only this part is matching this part is matching so 9 to 10 9 included 10 excluded is it not 
So, here A belongs to 9 to 10, 10 close, 10 open. Now, we want either case 1 or case 2. Case 1 or case 2 means the answer should be union of this and this. Take union greater than 1, greater than 10 means 10 to infinity, union 9 to 10. So, answer is 9 to 10 union 10 to infinity. Okay. This is the answer for this question. Next question, if both the roots of this quadratic equation are uh, exceed 3, then find the values of m. Take this as f of x, x square coefficient is positive, so upward parabola only. Let us take 3 here. Both the roots must be greater than 3. So, graph must be like this, only one case. Then what are the conditions? First condition, delta greater than or equal to 0. Roots must be real. What is delta? Uh, six, 36 m square minus 4 into 1 into this expression 9 m square minus 2 m plus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0. 36 m square cancels minus 4 into 9 m square is minus 36 m square cancels. Then multiplying by minus 4 8 m minus 8 greater than or equal to 0. Then we will get m is greater than or equal to 1. This is condition 1. What is condition 2? Vertex should be on the right of x is equal to 3 minus b by 2 a should be greater than 3. What is minus b by 2a? 6m by 2, 3m. 3m is greater than 3. Then m is greater than 1. This is condition 2. What is the next condition? f of 3 should be positive. Third is f of 3 should be positive. Substitute 3, 9 minus 18 m plus 9 m square minus 2 m plus 2 should be posi uh, positive then you will get 9 m square minus 20 m plus 11 greater than 0. Now, try to factorize it, I <coughs> will do it on the next page. You can write it as 9 m square minus 20 m can be written as minus 9 m minus 11 m. plus 11 should be greater than 0. Taking 9 m common here, 9 m into m minus 1, taking minus 11 common here, 
minus 11 into m minus 1 greater than 0. Now, m minus 1 is common, m minus 1 into 9 m minus 11 greater than 0. Then what is the interval of m? m does not lie between the roots, m is less than smaller root, which is smaller root 1 or m is greater than 11 by 9. This is the interval of m for third case, third condition. Now, we have to take the common interval now, take a real number line Locate the numbers 1, 11 by 9, any, any other numbers, no other numbers. First interval is m is greater than or equal to 1. So, 1 to infinity, 1 is included. Second interval is m greater than 1. 1 is not included. Third interval is m less than 1 or m greater than 11 by 9. m less than 1 means greater than 11 by 9 is this. So, what is the intersection of all the three conditions? Clearly, all three are matching here 11 by 9 to infinity. So, answer is m belongs to 11 by 9 to infinity. Okay. Next question, if 6 lies between the roots of the quadratic equation, find the values of p. Here also x square coefficient is positive if you take this quadratic function as f of x, its graph will be upward parabola. If 6 lies between the roots, if this is 6, graph must be like this. Then what are the conditions? One and only one condition that is f of 3, f of 6 is negative that will be enough. f of 6 is less than 0. What is f of 6? 36 plus 12 into p minus 3 plus 9 should be less than 0. Then 12 p uh, 36 cancels plus 36 and here minus 36 12 into 3 will cancel plus 9 less than 0. So, p will be less than 9 by 12 that is 3 by so minus 3 by 4. So, this is the answer for this question. Next. If exactly one root of the quadratic equation lies in the interval minus 2 to 4, minus 2 is here, 4 is here, x axis, this is y axis. Exactly one root should lie between minus 2 and 4. So, uh, since x square coefficient is positive, graph is upward parabola. So, the graph can be like this or it must be like this. 
either like this or like this. <coughs> In the first case, f of 2 is negative, f of minus 2 is negative, f of 4 is positive. In the second case, f of minus 2 is positive, f of 4 is negative. Graph is definitely upward parabola. And also, whenever f of minus 2 is negative, the graph should come below the x axis. So, it should intersect the x axis. So, delta condition is not required. And we cannot tell anything about the vertex also. Vertex can be anywhere. So, no condition on vertex. So, only condition is f of minus 2, if f of minus 2 is negative, f of 4 should be positive. If f of minus 2 is positive, f of 4 is negative. That means, f of minus 2 and f of 4 should have opposite signs. When they have opposite signs, their product will be negative. Is it not? Combining both the cases, we can write f of minus 2 into f of 4 less than 0. What is f of minus 2? Substitute to, uh, minus 2 there. 4 plus 4 m plus m square minus 1 into f of 4 f of 4 is 16 minus 8 m plus m square minus 1 should be less than 0. This is m square plus 4 m plus 3 and this is m square minus 8 m plus 15 less than 0. How to solve it now? You can factorize this quadratic and that quadratic separately. This is m plus 1 into m plus 3. What is this? This is m minus 3 into m minus 5. Simple factorization only, less than 0. When there is a product of 4 linear factors like this, how to solve it? We have to locate them, you have to locate all the roots on the real number line. Let us take real number line like this. What are the roots? Smallest root is minus 3. If m plus 3 is 0, 3 is called, minus 3 is called a root minus 3 will be first, next is minus 1, next is 3, next is 5. Now, you check the sign of this product in the last interval, last in the last interval you substitute any value, all factors are positive. So, the product will be po always positive in the last interval. From there, sorry, the product is always positive in the last interval. From there, you write alternately plus, min minus and plus. If it is plus here, next inter in the next interval it is minus. In the next interval it is plus. In the next interval minus, plus. Now, you can know where this product is negative. This method is called wavy Karu method. Okay. Now, it is negative between minus 3 and minus 1 and 3 and 5. So, answer is minus 3 to minus 1 union 3 to 5. Okay. Next question, 
if this quadratic equation 4 x square minus 2 x plus a is equal to 0 has two roots in the interval minus 1 to plus 1 find the values of a both the roots should lie between minus 1 and plus 1 then take minus 1 here 1 here this is 0 both the roots are between minus 1 and plus 1 means graph may be graph must be like this because x square coefficient is positive graph must be upward parabola it can be like this what are the conditions first condition delta greater than or equal to 0 roots can be equal also but they must lie between minus 1 and plus 1 delta greater than or equal to 0 what is delta b square minus 4 a c minus 2 whole square 4 minus 16 a greater than or equal to 0 you will get a is less than or equal to 1 by 4 condition 1 condition 2 vertex should lie between minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 is less than what is the x coordinate of the vertex minus b by 2 a minus b by 2 a means uh, 2 by 8 1 by 4 should be less than 1 it is always true ok third condition f of 1 should be positive f of minus 1 should be positive and f of 1 should be positive f of minus 1 greater than 0 and f of 1 greater than 0 what is f of minus 1 uh, 4 plus 2 6 6 plus a greater than 0 means a is greater than minus 6 and f of 1 4 minus 2 plus a 2 plus a Two plus a should be greater than 0 means a is greater than minus 2. This and this both must be true. So, the third condition is a is greater than minus 2. If a is greater than minus 2, automatically it is this is also satisfied. No? So, I am taking this and this as a is greater than minus 2. Now, what is our answer? It is the intersection of this and this no need to write number line directly you can tell a less than or equal to 1 by 4 and a greater than or greater than minus 2. So, what is the interval of a? Answer is minus 2 to 1 by 4, 1 by 4 closed. Intersection of these two without writing number line you can easily understand it is minus 2 to 1 by 4, 1 by 4 is included. Next question, if one root of the equation a minus 5 into x square minus 2 a x plus a minus 4 is equal to 0 is less than 1 and the other root is greater than 2. Here we do not know about coefficient of x square, it may be positive or negative. Okay. So, we have to take two cases or uh, one root is less than 1, another root is greater than 2. If a is, if the coefficient of x square is positive, graph should be like this. If coefficient of x square is negative, then the graph should be like this is it not 
if a is positive f of 1 f of 2 or negative if a is negative f of 1 is positive and f of 2 is positive a is a means here coefficient of x square a minus 5 if a is greater than 5 this is case 1 if a is greater than 5 the graph will be like this then f of 1 and f of 2 both must be negative f of 1 is less than 0 and f of 2 should be less than 0 what is f of 1 substitute 1 a minus 5 minus 2 a plus a minus 4 a minus 5 minus 2 a plus a minus 4 should be less than 0 simplifying it what you will get a cancels minus 9 is less than 0 always true and f of 2 f of 1 is always negative f of 2 is uh, a minus 5 into 2 square 4 minus 4 a plus a minus 4 should be less than 0 then what will get <coughs> a plus a 2 a minus 4 a minus 2 a minus 9 minus 4 sorry minus 20 minus 20 minus 4 minus 24 less than 0 now dividing by minus 2 it becomes in one minute i will check a minus uh, minus 2 a is correct minus 20 we substituted f of 2 must be negative um, minus 2 a minus 24 less than 0 then you will get a is a plus 12 is greater than 0 a plus 12 is greater than 0 means a is greater than minus 12 this and this means common interval common interval is a is greater than minus 12 but initial condition is a is greater than 5 so what is the common interval of this this and this it should be a is greater than 5 this is the common solution for first case now case 2 in case 2 f of 1 uh, case 2 is when concavity is downwards a minus 5 should be negative so a should be less than 5 if a is less than 5 then f of 1 should be positive f of 2 should be positive f of my, my 1 now do we substitute 1 or minus 1 1 only now a minus 5 minus 2 a yes 1 1 only f of 1 should be less than greater than 0 and f of 2 should be greater than 0 f of y minus 1 f of 1 already we have calculated ok then minus 9 should be greater than 0 not true 
and f of 2 f of 2 greater than 0 means what you will get? You will get opposite to this a is less than minus 12 both must be true no. So, this case is not there in second case not possible only one condition we are getting ok. So, with this uh, time is up. So, we are going to close the session we are going to continue in the next class ok.